What's up, everybody? The A maybe, maybe so. Hopefully, you can hear me. We've uh, supposed to have some pretty bad weather today, so it's raining. So I've got the shop closed, but obviously you can hear the rain on the metal roof. So first thing I did today, came in, cut my L-Trek to the length that I like. I'll install it. Like I said, I'm gonna put probably put some VHP tape on the back just so that it will stop the thermal break. The thermal barrier. So I'll install that. And then I'll start working on the brackets to support the uh, IKEA bed rails. Got one cut, gotta cut a second one here a bit. And actually, I did find the VHP tape, but I'm actually gonna use this. This is leftover from another Airstream project that I had. It's like some glazing tape, window glazing tape. Uh, so it's not as sticky as VHP, but it's like a foam type thing. So, all in all, it's gonna help with the uh, thermal break. All right, so again, like I said, I've got the driv nuts installed. These are quarter 20 countersunk screws. These are like three quarters. You make them in half inch, 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 a quarter, inch and a half, just kind of whatever you need. And then I've got that barrier tape. So, yeah, that's really good. That's not going anywhere. Super strong. I like it. Okay, quick update. Let me get out of the light. So these, this is the IKEA rail. Pretty stout. Obviously these are the little thumb screws. So you can see this, I'll have this one, I'll have another one, another one, and another one on the end. So I have one, two, three, and four. So let me take this off and I'll show you the little Hang line brackets. So these thumb screws are 3 8 16 maybe. I think that's what they are. 3 8 16. So the bolts are 3 8 16. You see it just sits. I drilled these holes at the end. So that will just pop right up. Obviously we're going with two hands, but I don't have that at the moment. You can see that I have my bracket made, little angle iron. It's welded, the bolt is. And this obviously secures in through here. It's a double stud fitting. And then that's just basically it. So now I have six more to make. Got a little bit more. So what I'm trying to do is right here, make this hole big enough so that it fits flush right here. So we just a bit more. Got that all nice and snug. It's not going anywhere, it's not moving. So there you have one bracket. They're all in place now. I will tell you, I'll be honest, I am still contemplating adding one more one more brace. I bought five, so I have one extra. Contemplating on adding that, because obviously how it is now, it'll be a board, a board, and a board. So it'd be three boards. If I added a fifth, it'd be four, but there would be more narrow, that wouldn't be as wide. So I'm contemplating that. Oh. As you can see, this is basically done. I think I'm gonna wait to cut the panels until I have walls up. That's it for day eight, guys. Ooh, thanks for watching. Stay steady.